hello everyone hope you all are doing well so in this video we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 353 it's a medium level problem uh, but yeah the accuracy is again on the lower side it's a good problem to solve the problem name is apply operations to make all array elements equals to zero okay you are given a zero index integer array nums and a positive integer k okay you can apply the following operation on the array any number of times what is that operation choose any sub array of size k from the array and decrease all its elements by one okay return true if you can make all the array elements equals to zero or false otherwise a sub array is a contiguous non-empty part of the array okay i'm given this array i'm given a value k so i can choose any sub array of size k and i, I can decrement all the values in that sub array by one and my target is that i have to make all the elements equals to zero if i can do that i return true or else i return false so let's take this Suppose I choose these three elements, okay? Now, if I perform this operation two times, right? So what happens? After, after this, it becomes 0, 0, 1. Then the remaining elements are 1, 1, 0, right? Then I choose these three elements and this becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that means yes, there is a possibility I can convert all the elements into zero, right? Remember, none of the elements can be negative, right? So that is one thing. You can you can see it says that you pick two, two, three, right? The resulting will be one, one, two, right? Then again you pick two, one, one. But remember the order doesn't matter here, right? So it becomes one, zero, zero. Then you pick the last one, this. So it says true. What about this one? It's one, three, one, one k equals to 2 so let's choose a sub array of size 2 suppose i choose these two it becomes 2 0 2 1 1 let's choose these two it becomes 0 1 0 1 now it's not possible to choose choose a sub array and decrement by 1 right because if you choose this part it becomes minus 1 this is something we do not want right so this is what the problem is asking us to do hence we return false right the number of elements is 10 raised to power 5 and each element can be up to 10 raised to power 6 right so let's come to some observations right just see this let's pick this array it is 2 2 3 1 1 0 right <laughs> consider the first element right now this will be part of only one sub array of size k right this suppose k equals to 3 this will part all of only this sub array meaning that if i have to make this element as 0 right I am bound to, to choose this sub array only, right? It's not true for other elements, right? It's not true for other elements. It's just true for the first element and the last element, right? So we are just considering the first element. If I have to make this guy zero, I'll have to choose the this sub array every time, right? Because it does not have any left element, right? So if you have to make it zero, you choose this uh, sub array two times and decrement it by one, right? So that that's one thing, right? That's one thing. In short, suppose my array is like this 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 4, something like this, right? So again, this is 0. So it, it is not making any difference, right? Any zeros which are present as part of your prefix or part of your suffix is not making any difference. Why? Because you cannot choose a sub array which includes this 0 because as soon as you choose it and decrement the values, it becomes minus 1. We are gone. So this, this, this is not included. What I mean to say, choose the first non-zero element, right? Now for that first non-zero element, the only sub array that you can choose is the first k elements, right? This is what we need to do. Now, a brute force solution says that pick up a sub array and basically decrement all the elements in that sub array by one, right? But obviously that will time out. That is not the best of the approaches to do, right? Let's uh, deviate from this topic and discuss one more thing. So there is a concept where suppose you, so again, segmentary is one of the solution, but I'll, I'll discuss the easier one, right? Suppose these, this is my array. These are the indices, right? And someone says that do one thing that um, add one to all the elements from index number two to index number five, right? So whatever are the elements present here, increment their values by one or decrement their values by one right so one of the approaches is you traverse this array and add plus one plus one plus one plus one here right this is one of the approaches the second approach is pick up this array right pick up this array zero one two three four five six add plus one here 
right you have to take a separate array in this case you have to take a separate array which basically keeps a track of that okay uh what are the elements that are decremented and incremented right so it says that from 2 to 5 i have to increment the frequency of every element so let's call it a prefix array or something like that or whatever you call it change array whatever you call it so add plus one here it means that i have to add plus one in all the elements from here to here from two to six right but it says that you have to just add plus one from two to five so add minus one here add minus one here okay add minus one here this can be broken into two problems as well that plus one here means add plus one from two to six adding minus one can be said as said that that from index number six add minus one right add minus one this is also one of the uh, ways to solve it right this is one of the ways so yes now again let me draw it again you can do a dry run you can do a dry run three five yeah okay so plus one here and suppose uh, minus one here right minus one here so it says that increment the elements from this to this so if you have to increment the elements from i to j at i you do plus one and at j plus one at index you do minus one simple right this is what you do so now coming back to this problem this is one of the approaches right it, it uh, we, we have discussed a number of problems based on this approach as well right so how do you use this approach right as i said you choose the first non uh, zero element right now that can be for uh, that can be part of only one separator right so instead of decrementing by iterating suppose here the value is 2 so you do not iterate this sub array two times or one time rather what you do you use the same concept take a different array okay take a different array suppose you are standing at index number i okay and if the size of your sub array has to be k so the last index will be i plus k minus 1 i means your array will have elements from index number i to i plus k minus 1 so if I have to apply the same logic, what can I do? Suppose I have to make it zero. Just taking an example. Suppose I have to make it zero. What I'll do? Whatever is the value here. Okay. Whatever is the value here. I can just do. Suppose the value is two here. So minus two at the ith index. So this minus two will be applicable to, till index number i plus k minus one. Then I add plus two here. Right. I add plus two here. Where? i plus kth index because your valid sub array is from i to i plus k minus 1 so using the same logic at at the index just after it you add plus 2 so that the effect of this minus 2 is nullified from this index right that is what we do right so this is the case where we do not have to traverse the array now let's come to the core logic okay the core logic is the first non-zero element can be part of only one sub array right i'll take this diff array okay i'll take this diff array and I'll be using it. I'll be using it to find that what are the operations that are needed, right? So consider that if this is my diff array and I come at this point, I come at this point, right? Now, if the value here, remember, I'll be adding the values from the first position, right? Because uh, let me give you an example. Suppose I say that add value one from index number let me just take a very basic example from index number one two three add one so one and minus one you do it like this right remove this then someone says add one again from index number uh, two to four so you add plus one here and it's one two three right so two to four so this one will be minus one this one will be minus one yes so now just take a prefix sum of this array so initially every value was zero so this is zero this will remain at zero this will become one this will become two this will become two this will become one this will become zero this is the final value of this sub array and let's see whether i am able to do that operation or not zero one two three four five what did i say from one to three add one so from one to three add one and from two to four from 2 to 4 add 1 so just see you got the correct values right by just taking a prefix sum of this right so here also i'll do the same thing let me just erase it here also we'll do exactly the same thing right we'll do exactly the same thing i'll take this diff array let's call it diff array okay i'll take this diff array okay and i'll be taking the prefix sum of this right i'll be taking the prefix sum of this now a particular value here 
a particular value here whatever is the value in the prefix sum of this diff this tells me that you have to decrement this particular position by how many times the frequency the whatever is the value present here right suppose the value present here is 5 it says that it doesn't matter that because of which subarray i am decrementing this by five times either it can be a subarray from here a subarray from here that doesn't matter but i have to decrement this value by five right now if the actual value present here is four then that means i cannot decrement a value four by five times otherwise it will become negative right it will become negative so i drop here i just return false the other thing is suppose i have to decrement this value five times and the value here is five or six then that means yes i can decrement this value right i can decrement this value but in that case what will happen suppose i have to decrement it five times but the original value present here is six so that means that means there is still one operation that i need to perform on this element okay on this element now which subarray should i choose to perform this operation obviously the sub array starting from this position because all the elements on my left hand side i am coming by making them zero right i am coming so i am traversing this array by making every element zero every element zero i am just compensating those operations right so this is my array this is my array uh, let's take a concrete example it is 2 2 3 1 1 0 right this is 1 now to make this element as zero what i'll do let's take the frequency array also this 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 right zero one two three four five zero one two three four five six okay i have to make this guy as zero so what i'll do i'll, I'll do simple stuff right that how many operations do i need to perform here two but this operation will be performed only till i plus k minus one so at index number this you do minus two great now you come here right now you come here so how many operations do i need to perform here here also two operations right because i'll be calculating the prefix sum right i'll be calculating the prefix sum so the number of operations that i have to perform at this position is two the value here is also two so no additional operation is performed great i come here the number of total operations that i have to perform here is again two right i'm taking the prefix sum right this is two this is zero zero something like this right I have to the total number of operations that I have to perform is two. The value here is three. That means yes, if you perform this operation two times, there is still one operation needed. Three minus two. There is still one operation needed because after these two operations, the value here will be one. So you need to make it zero, right? Now to make it zero, you have to choose a subarray starting from this position because all the elements here have already become zero, right? Just see. So this guy becomes one. Then I move forward, right? Then I move forward and I keep on doing the same thing keep on doing the same thing so that is what we are doing here right let's see let's see it so this is the change diff array that i am doing uh, that i have taken diff of zero equals to nums of zero basically plus of nums of zero because the first element can be part of only one subarray right and diff of k minus equals to nums of zero the same logic right i say i plus k minus one is the subarray so i plus k is basically minus equals to diff of i that's what i am done here now start from position one let's see whether i can make all the elements as zero or not so diff of i plus equals to diff of i minus one that means calculating the prefix sum to see that for the current position how many operations do i need to perform right now if the number of operations that i need to perform is equals to nums of i well and good you perform those operations you are done you just continue however if the number of operations that you need to perform is more than the value at this index that means you will not be able to perform these operations otherwise if you perform those operations the number the current number will become negative right the ith number in nums will become negative or i plus k minus 1 is greater than equals to n why i have added this condition because suppose i'm standing at ith index now i have to perform some operations to make it zero all the elements on the left hand side has become zero so i have to choose a subarray uh, including the right elements right? the first element is this and the last element should be i plus k minus 1 now if i plus k minus 1 index does not exist that means you cannot pick up a valid subarray right you cannot pick up you do not have the uh, sufficient number of elements so that is why if this is greater than equals to n you return false these are the two conditions when you return false simple done that's the core logic now how many extra operations do i need to perform if it is equal continue if it is invalid return false if 
the value at the current position is more than the operation that I need to perform. That means there are some additional operations. What are those? Nums of i minus diff of i. Right? Now, the num these number of operations should be again compensated in this change area. So diff of i plus equals to current diff and diff of i plus k minus equals to current diff. Simple. This is the core logic. Right? Again, to solve this problem, there were a number of observations. The first observation was that the first non-zero element can be part of only one sub array. That's it. The second observation, rather I would say the technique that you do not iterate the array to perform operations. Rather you uh, use this diff of diff array and then you calculate the prefix sum, right? This is a different logic, right? So based on these two logics, you can just solve this problem. Uh, the other approach is obviously related to segmentary. I'll not go into that. Uh, because no need of those complex logics there, right? Simple, this, this small solution will work. And yes, you learn a new concept as well, right? That how do you increment or decrement or basically how you perform an operation on a range of elements, right? On a range of sub array or range of elements and that should be a sub array, right? So yeah, that's it. That's it. How you solve this problem. Just see these are the three conditions. Equal, we are good. Invalid, return false. And last, whatever the difference, compensate it in the diff array. Simple right so yes that's it for this solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye